yo, 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 yo quiero par de millones. Chile, chile, chile. Yeah! What's good? You guys already know about the title of this video. We're gonna get into the top five things that I like about my 2017 Subaru BRZ. And today we have a special guest. We got my little sister, Milena in the cut. Yeah! How you feeling today? Feeling good, popping, energetic. What he also didn't mention was that I was going to say what I like and don't like about I was just about to say that, but you didn't let me get to the point. Okay, so get to the point. Introduce yourself. Who are you? My name is Emma to the Ellie to the motherfucking N.A. Milena in the cut. All right, guys, and we are about to get started on making the top five things that we like about the 2017 Subaru BRZ. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to point out, the first thing that I like about my 2017 Subaru BRZ are the headlights. The headlights are absolutely my favorite because on the year 2017, they actually made them all LED. Like as you can see in here, this whole light strip right here has got the, the curve that everybody likes. It has the halogen and it also has, these are the turn signals right here, and every single light is LED. And I just, I don't even have to do anything to them because a lot of people with the older models, the 2013 to the 2016, are exchanging the headlights that I have and putting them on their car. Okay, so what I like about the car is, like, it's so much, it's so different in person. It's like small. I like it but it still has that mean aggressive look even though it's small you know what I'm saying like me <laughs> and like you would think it's hard to park because it looks bigger in the front than in the back but it's not you feel me it's very just like perfect size for a small person very true on that very true but it's also good for bigger people mm-hmm but the only thing is, for bigger people, you can't fit anybody in the back. These tail lights look absolutely amazing. And I cannot get over the fact of how they look. They have when you when you are when you have your little not your little, but when you have your regular lights on and when you break, you have a little hook. See that hook right there? Wow. That shit to me right there, that shit's fire. Fire. Is it, was it, did you? It, no, action. So, <laughs> you joined me down here as well. I like the lights for a different reason. These lights, like, they're so, in the dark, they're so bougie. Like, if you see this car passing by with all these little lights on, it's bougie. It's gonna make you break your neck. You know what I'm saying? And we like the break necks around here. Oh, tell them what headlights they remind you of. What car? McLaren? You said, yeah. Okay, so also, it reminds me of the McLaren. You know what I'm saying? And if you know the McLaren, you know it's popping, right? McLaren's bougie. Gotta be bougie. Bougie, bougie BRZ. Bougie. 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 All right, so the third thing that I like about this car is the little wing. This little wing, it's noticeable. But it's also very, I don't even know how to say it. It's just the way how small it is and, and it goes perfectly wide with the car and the body lines, it just all lines up. And it's just, it, it, I love it, it's perfect. So my third favorite thing about this car is the interior. Specifically, you can see it's pretty much everywhere. The red stitching, it looks, Again, it looks, it looks so bougie, you know? It looks nice, it looks elegant. Elegant is the word I'm looking for. It looks elegant, it's all on the seats here as you can see. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you come with me on the passenger side real quick. Yep. Right here, other than my beautiful flag, the stitching on this part right here really pulls the whole look together. You know? 
So my number four thing that I like about this car is the seats. And these seats are basically bucket seats, not fully, but I believe they are. But for me, they feel like bucket seats because to me, they hold, since I'm such a small person, they hold me in perfectly. So as you can see, I have the bolsters right here that are nice and wide. My sister doesn't really like them because she says that they're uncomfortable for her. But for me, they snug me in, they hold me in tight for when I'm, you know, doing my little donuts and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It feels like a car seat, you feel me? But look, like, I sit in it, and I'm in here perfectly, like, it like, this goes basically all the way out to my stomach. It might not be the same for bigger people, but since I'm such a small person, 140 pounds, and like, five foot, what, eight? Don't ask me, boy. You know, five, eight, you know. I'm like, you know, and I got plenty of leg room. So the bucket seat is amazing. And you can also lower it and bring it up with this little lever here. I personally like it all the way at the bottom. So I feel like it's, you know, a race, a, like a, a real race seat, bucket seat. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I will be swapping these out for, you know, some like thrasher seats, maybe some brides. I don't know. Let me know in the comment what you guys think. Should I keep the factory seats or should I get some aftermarket seats so I can run the harness? Because I really do like that and I want that. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. That's my number four. So my number four is in general the car stock. Let me tell you why. I love, you know, the, the little modified cars. I like that. But... We all know that I'm not going to modify my car that much to the extent that I would like to see it. So, this car, real quick, this car doesn't need much done to it. It's perfect the way it is. You know what I'm saying? For me, in my opinion, what I'm going to do, I can't say that, but the little modifications that I'm going to do is going to have it look fly, son. You don't have to do too much to this car, which is why I love it. It already looks bougie. You know what I'm saying? So a few little pop pops here and there, and we're good to go. So I got a question. When you want to do your BRZ, what are your modifications that you want to do? You can see it on my channel. Links can be. But I want an idea, because you don't have the car yet. So I want to know, what ideas do you have for the BRZ? What would you do to it? Because, I don't know if I want to tell them, but the picture that's on your vision board. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Do you want to talk about that? So I'm gonna give you a little basic idea. Height requirement, there's always a height requirement. You know what I'm saying? Width wise, there's gonna be a difference. And, um, That's all I can say at the moment. I didn't even understand that. What the hell are you talking about? If you don't get it, height re height requirement. If you don't get that, then do your research, okay? Width requirement. Width means how wide. <coughs> wide. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's all I could say. Okay. So, okay. Okay. If you guys know, comment down below what she's talking about. I kind of do know because, you know, she's been told me. But if you guys know what she's talking about because she doesn't want to, you know, say it, comment I down below. Can't say it. You, she can't you know say it. You're I right. She, if you guys want to see what she would do with her BZ, then you guys could go to her channel, Milena Mateo. Link down below. That is it, guys, for this video for my top five and my top five of my 2017 brz that's a wrap if you guys want to see more videos like comment share and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell we'll always be here i'll see you guys in the next video peace out
Se creen tigueres esta bacha de gatico y tico. Se creen tigueres esta bacha de gatico y tico. Se creen tigueres esta bacha de gatico. Yo le doy con la de agua si me dan con la de mi.